Hello, my name is John, and I'm here from HR department. The reason we are here today is to discuss the complaint Michael has filed against Sandra. Yeah, Sandra here is staring at me every day. I am not staring at you. What are you talking about? This is a ridiculous complaint. It is the company policy that whenever we get a complaint, we must investigate, regardless of how small or big the complaint is. This is a big complaint. It's distracting me. There's a big difference between looking and staring. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the clock. It's, it's right next to you. That's another problem. She keeps leaving early. 4.30 and she's out of there. Uh, hey, all my work is done and I even skip my lunches, so I can leave early. It's not fair. I'm here working late every day, but she gets the promotion. Because I'm a great worker. He's just jealous. I don't know what's going on between her and the boss. Whoa, whoa. I'm single and I can do whatever I want. There's no hanky-panky between me and the boss. We don't tolerate employee relationships unless they have signed the form 21c you need a copy of it no can we get back on topic she keeps stealing my pens and leaving sticky notes did you keep any sticky notes or are you just saying it no i kept the receipts here they are with little hearts above the eyes and everything sandra what do you have to say about that well i i wanted to let him know that i borrowed his items and i like drawing little hearts I didn't think he would make such a big deal out of it. Please refrain from taking other people's things. Okay, fine. Anything else? Yeah, tons of stuff. She keeps touching my hair. He reminds me of this kid I used to know in elementary school. They both have the same awesome hair. Well, I'm not that kid you knew back then. Okay, what else? She keeps asking me for rides. That's because Lyft and Uber are having problems. But I offered you gas money. Ask someone else. I like hanging out with you though. What's the big deal? Look, I've seen this kind of scenario many times. Based on what I'm seeing, at this sticky notes and all this stuff, Sandra, why don't you just admit it? Don't you like Michael? I don't like him like that. What are you talking about? Look, the sooner you admit it, the sooner we can resolve this problem. Is this true, Sandra? Do you like me? Uh, yeah, I do. Why didn't you say so? With all this stuff, I thought you would get the hint. You are so oblivious. I've heard that before. But you're so pretty, and I just didn't think someone like you would be into someone like me. Well, I am. So now, can we drop this? Of course. Let's go for lunch instead. Look, this is serious. This is a relationship between a supervisor and an employee. There are serious consequences. What kind of consequences? Both of you will have to fill out a form. It's called 97B. It's a very long form and quite involved. I'm willing to fill out whatever form you want. Why do you have to make everything complicated? Why can't people just be happy? But no, we have to fill out some long, complicated, stupid forms just like the government wants. If you don't fill out that form, you'll be fired. Okay, fine. I'll fill out the form if that's what it takes for us to be together. Great. And make sure you check the box that says you won't do any hanky-panky on company property. Seriously? Man, you're taking all the fun out of it. We can still have fun after work. Okay, fine. I'm glad we are able to resolve this. I hope you two enjoy a happy relationship, but make sure it doesn't affect your work. This meeting turned out better than I expected. Yeah, and it won't affect our work. We will just go to lunch and have some happy endings. Aha, so much for you <laughs> skipping lunch. Yeah, now I have to work until five. Damn it! Look, I'm okay with happy lunches, but no happy hour.